Well, USFL week number nine has come and gone, and we are getting ready, wrapping things up here on this first season of the USFL. And week nine, you know, things things got you know a little bit weird, you know, this weekend. Things got a little weird. Start on Saturday, of course, New Jersey, Michigan. Eric Berrier actually had to step in for the Panthers, but he 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 was inconsistent throughout the day. This man was this man was just begging, you know, to to give Jersey the ball. Like it it took a last minute pick. You know, on the final possession for New Jersey to squeak out with the victory. You know, Luis Perez with a game-saving touchdown, and you know, despite the fact that Austin Jones missed like so many kicks, it's not even funny. Like he missed like three or four kicks, I believe, for the Generals. And I mean, you know, New Jersey continues to win. They continue to win. Houston Birmingham was the shocking result, and. You know, you have Micah Abernathy with the game ceiling pick, Chris Odom, Donald Payne, you know, just backing him up. And that Houston defense shut Jamar Smith and the Stallions down. And the Stallions are no longer unbeaten. 17-15 in that game. New Jersey only beat Michigan by 225-23. So, Birmingham and New Jersey, you know, they still sit at the top. They have clinched their divisions. And they, they are indeed going to the playoffs. You know, both teams aren't going to the playoffs, but uh, both teams struggling a little bit. You know, they're both struggling. You know, Birmingham a little bit more so. And they finally got a loss. You know, the last couple weeks they've been kind of limping along. But they, they finally met their maker in Houston. Finally was able to use their defense and use the talent they have to finally get another victory. Because, I mean, this team has been had a lot of bad luck throughout the season. A lot of bad luck. And then Sunday, we'll talk about this game first. Philadelphia-Pittsburgh, which was the last game to finish up. As Isaiah Henney, he lost the wisdom tooth on a aggressive hit. I'm talking the Stars defense is out here being aggressive in this game, you know, Matt Colburn had a late touchdown to lift the stars over the Maulers, but that wasn't the only thing that happened in this game. You got the Maulers pulling out fake punts, fake field goals. Despite all that, fake field goal for his touchdowns too. You know, despite all that, they lost to the miss kick, and, and you know, miss kicks in this league have just been, you know, oh, they've been bad. They've been real bad all season long. Really, really bad. But the game of the day, you know, game of the weekend, Tampa Bay and New Orleans, a playoff spot on the line, and unfortunately, Tampa Bay makes the final week of the season less interesting. Tampa Bay struggled against the Breakers defense. We're talking, you know, Zach Smith, Kyle Slover, they both were in this game for the Breakers. Both of them, you know, were injured throughout the game. You know, and despite the opportunities the Bandits had, Jordan Tommy and company couldn't do anything. They, the offensive line was not there. There were so many turnovers, so many penalties, like, what, 13 at one point for, like, a... No, they had, no, they had, I think they had at least 15 penalties in this game, you know, the Bandits did. It, it was rough. So, what does all this mean? What does all this mean? It means that New Orleans at Birmingham will meet... In the South Division semifinal, we have everything has been set. First semifinal is you know that that that's the f- first semifinal is Philadelphia and the um, and the New Jersey Generals. The Stars and the Generals will lock up, and then the, the and then the Breakers and Stallions will lock up in the second semifinal. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting time, these semifinals, because Philadelphia and New Jersey goes first, and then it will be New Orleans, Birmingham in the late game, and then the USFL Championship, July 3rd, the day before 4th of July. Things are going to get a little bit weird around here. They're going to get a little bit weird, a little bit wild. So... What does this mean for next week? Next week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk just a smidge about Week 10 because, you know, 
Philadelphia, New Jersey I have to play two weeks in a row because that's just how the schedule worked out. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about Week 10, you know, but I'm going to preview the semifinals as well. So I mean, there, there's mm, there's no debating. Things might get a little bit outdated, you know, by the time we get to the semifinals recap on June 25th. But that's neither here nor there, baby. That's neither here nor there. So what I can tell y'all is, you know. Just only a couple videos left in the USFL season. Just four videos left in the USFL season instead of six because of, you know, Week 10 having zero meaning. I am not watching any games in Week 10 at all because those games literally do not matter at all. All the poor playoff spots have been clenched and everything. No reason to watch. No reason to do anything. I'm going to, you know, unless the NBA Finals goes to Game 7. We'll talk about the NBA Finals on either. It could it could be it could be next Sunday. It could be next Sunday. We talk about the NBA Finals, or it could be you know next. Or rather, it could be on Thursday. We talk the NBA Finals. Uh, who knows? You know that'll get that'll get the weekend started right. But in any case, um, I'll see you all if it's not Thursday and the NBA Finals ain't clinched by then, and there's a game seven. I'll see you all Friday for the USFL Week 10 and USFL Semifinals Preview. Both of those will be together in one video and then you know, come back you know, June 25th and everything like that and we'll talk the USFL Semifinals, recap all that and you know, recap you know, most of the season and everything like that for the other teams like that and you know, it's what it is. So, I'll be seeing you later down the road this week. So, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're not going to see me as usual. Thursday, potentially, Friday, Saturday, and, you know, potentially Sunday. It could potentially be Thursday or Sunday. You know, you all, you, you, it depends on which day. So, until then, hope you all enjoyed the USFL Week 9 like, uh, like I did. Well, at least the one game I did watch. And... See you soon. Good night, everybody.